Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 2 with the member are me, Hilda Dulestari, and my friends, Ilham Rusikunafik. We are going to present about our tasks about analysis of project feasibility. For this presentation, there is four topics that we will explain in this presentation. First is definition, the second one is example, and then solution, then the last is conclusion. Okay, for the first, the definition, what is the project feasibility study? A uh, project feasibility study is a research on whether or not a, pro a project can be carried out successfully. And then the purpose of this project feasibility study is to avoid too much investment that is too large for unfavorable activities. Okay, continue to the next. It is an example. There is an example, and the project is requires an investment of fifty million with ten years of use with no residual. And then the question is determine the net profit after tax in the project with the rate of interest is 10%. Okay, for the solution, we are, we have three methods. The first is using net present value or NPV method. For NPV method, we make a table like this. There is four column. For the first column is the rate of interest. The second one is years. And the third about profit and the fourth is PV or PV determined as FV divided by 1 plus I forward N and then we get this result for the first year the second year and so on and also we get the total of PV is like that and then for the MPV is the initial investment minus or uh, minus total PV. The initial investment is 50 million minus the total PV we get the MPV is like this. Since on uh, the MPV we know the MPV is a positive and then we can conclude that the investment is carried out successfully or feasible to run. Okay, for the next solution, for the next method, we we are we will explain by Ilham. Okay, the next method is using payback period or PP. By the uh, problem before, we have given in its initial investment is 50 million initial rupees and the first CV is 15 million. So the deficit, uh, deficit is 50 million minus 15 million. So we have 35 million. There is 14 million CF in second years. So we have the PP or payback period is equals deficit on each year over CV on each year times one year. Okay, then we have the payback period is 35 million over 15 million times one year. So we have the payback period is 3,5 years. And since payback period less than 10 years, 
the project is visible so we can accept the project and the next method it's the last method is internal rate of return or IRR method in using IRR method we must have two interest of rate and two NPV in the first interest of rate uh, rate of interest I mean in the first rate of interest we we use 15 percent so we first find the NPV the NPV one the formula we use the formula like the first method to find the NPV so we have the NPV one is a million and so on and for the second interest in, in the second rate of interest we use 25 percent so we get the NPV two is uh, minus six million we use uh, we from it like this it's mean minus right and we get the PV eh, sorry I mean the IRR the internal rate of return the formula is I1 plus NPV1 minus NPV1 minus NPV2 times I2 minus I1 so we get the I1 is 15% plus 8 million over 8 million min minus okay, minus negative I mean, minus negative 6 million times 25 minus 15 so we get the IRR equals to 20,64% so since uh, the IRR is greater than the rate of interest we, uh, we want uh, the first question of interest I mean so it is feasible so we can accept the project I think that's all Okay, we have the conclusion from the three method before. So by using the three method, we can conclude that the investment is feasible. Okay, I think it that's all from our group. So uh, thank you for in, thank you for. Uh, Okay, thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.